I had a minnow on there that wasn't even very good. What happened? Look at that. A great part of the great outdoors, North Country Outdoors Radio. Hi, everybody. Kurt Quinnell back on Lake of the Woods, Saturday morning now. I've uh, just got set up. What time is it? It's 7.44. I was going to be out here earlier today, but I got stuck on the way out. So there's uh, a couple of days ago, I was almost getting stuck, but then not getting stuck. And this morning, we had another inch, probably a snow yesterday, but that was just enough. And it blew a big enough pile to uh, stop me. I got out of it. I got my other jig, finally. My two little jigs, they bought up in the same bag, so here's my little tungsten eyeball jig. With a minnow now, since I set up, uh, line's going down for the first time here. I, uh, I've seen three fish, three fish come through uh, before I even got my line down. So at least there's fish around today. Last time out, I didn't see anything. There's one down there now. You gonna come back? Really? Sure, here he comes. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> so this is, oh, he got off. Well, that's okay. I don't think he was big. But wow. All right. My uh, bait is still there in good shape. The fish is still down there, too. Here he is. Uh, here he comes again. Wow. Boom. Got him that time. Wow. I seem like it's a big fish. No. Not a big fish. Let's see what he does without losing the fish here. Wow! This is <laughs> fish. Oh, I'm not gonna keep, but it's a walleye. How about that? So two minutes in, I missed a fish and got a fish. My buddy, getting my first line down again. Yeah, there was fish around right away. Good. So I've been here 10 minutes. Caught a fish. All right, first line is down. That's probably the same fish that I saw before I got my lines down. This has got another tungsten jig on it. This one is pink. All right. You've seen this one before. Didn't do much, but. This isn't bad. I think I hooked my other line. Oh yeah, this one keeps easy. Got him fish trap now. I open the bale on this one. Look at this guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Boy, I thought, well, there's a fish coming. He's not much. He's not much. I won't uh, turn on the cameras for that one. And I set the hook and nice. Nice tangle too. This is going to be all of 16. Yeah, 16 and a half, almost 17. And it's 825. I got started about 20 to 8, wasn't it? And I caught one right away and there hasn't been a lot on lately. But uh, we're going in the right direction. Really nice here. Good deal bites. Come on, don't go away. Come back. I think he's gonna. Here he comes. Come on, bite it, man. There he is. Psh, slingshot him off. You're gonna come come over here. Come to the rattle bait. See, he just took my, my minnow. Did you see that? My minnow came off and was floating. It's 841, so I've been here an hour. And it hasn't been an action packed hour, but uh, with one better than 16 and a half inch in the bucket. Because <sighs> it might be nine, you know, it might be ten. Down there. Well, it's a little nicer fish. Came right in, bit. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> well, here's a sauger. 
We had a fish fry last night. And again, this one's on my treble hooks. Well, now that I've got in my hand, I think he's a 13-incher, but... Heck no. 14-inch sauger. So this is good. Uh, one little one, a couple of uh, nicer ones. Well, that's two. So I have been out here uh, an hour and 45 minutes. I've got two that I kept, some that I've missed. It's a lot better than it was my last time out. Uh, and the fish are nicer. I think I've caught maybe five and I've kept two of them for keepers. That's a good ratio. I'm blanking that. And the ones I've got are solid keepers, no problem. And uh, like I said, we're only 9.30 in the morning, so I've got uh, at least an hour and a half of prime time left here. There's uh, fish here all the time. I just, I'm losing minnows. These are the smaller fish we talked about not being here. Well, they're back. And I just, just put that line down there. There he goes. I, uh, that was the treble hook line. Dock on it, man. So the fish are around. Let's see, I put, I put... <laughs> two minnows on there. Is he coming back? I had a minnow on there that wasn't a very good. What happened? Look at that. My uh, treble hook broke off. I may catch... Oh, man. I'm sure I don't have another treble hook out here. Oh, come on. Oh. Well, I'm going to have to come up with something else. That fish came storming in. Man, I love to see that. I'm going with a, my perch talker here. The little uh, spoon below it. This isn't exactly like my treble hook. The rest of my treble hooks are in the shop at home. And I always worried about them because it will be weird they had quick snap rigs on them. I don't trust those. I use them, but I don't trust them. And I think I got screwed on that deal. But I know this perch talker won't come apart. But, this guy coming up. There we go. Got him. And this isn't a bad fish. Well, maybe these aren't all little. This one might not keep, but he's not far off. Okay, this is a 13-inch sauger here. He's in good shape. Get out of here, buddy. That last sauger I caught, I uh, charged at the bottom of the hole like you were going to swim away, but then he didn't. He came back and his eyes were kind of bugging out, so I've got a 13-inch sauger in the bucket now with my 14-inch uh, sauger and that 16-and-a-half-inch walleye. There's been a lot of fish around here lately. And especially when you're fishing out deep, uh, those fish don't look great when you go to release them. Probably best just to keep them. Another thing that I, I kind of want to point out here that I've noticed just lately, earlier, remember I could see, I could see the baits heck down eight feet or so on a leg of the woods. That's ridiculous. You know, that you never happen. But probably the last week or so is when these going to be, it's uh, murky. That water isn't clear like it was. Uh, first day I saw this, I thought it was an anomaly, but it's a, a deal, evidently. So that hole has a lot more stuff in it than it did. I guess I don't know why. Coming again. One over here. There we go. We got him. I had two tries this way. He's not... Uh... Boy, it's funny they don't get off when they do that. Wow, this is a, I tell you, these fish are not uh, fighting today. This is a, this is going to be a 14 incher. Got two minnows on my little jigging spoon. This one came up and bit uh, the other line first. I'll have to check the bait on that. These look like they're good. This is a nice, thick, bad 14 inch sauger. Well, now, heck, I've got four. It just came shooting in. And I didn't get much video beforehand because there wasn't much video beforehand. And this isn't too bad. 
What is another? Well, this guy's in good shape. I'm going to release him. But... Yeah, just just like they're supposed to do. Okay, buddy, you can go. Yeah, he took off big. Good. Whew. Well, I probably should have measured that one, but uh, he was like 13 inches, not 14, and it was important that I get him back quick. That one's coming up. He's going to bite it. Look at this. Boy, this is, this is a nice fish. Yeah, this one keeps all day, man. Well, yeah, this is going to be a 14-incher, bigger than this. That big 14-incher is a 13-incher. Keep going, buddy. Got him, got him, got him. Well, this one came shooting in from the side. I was just putting the other line down. This I'm going to say this is a nice one. Hope you can see it. Yep, yeah, here's a nice walleye it's going to keep. This is a very good, thick, nice, big, fat. I'm going to go with 15 inch walleye. Well, this is a 14 and like three quarters. Uh, it's 1027. This is my fifth one here. Thick, nice, nice, good shape walleye there. All right, well, it's uh, 10.39. I'm going to quit at 11. So I've got 20 minutes left. I've got five in the bucket. If I catch one more, then I'm going to be done earlier. I'm not sure how many more of these we're going to get done. I just want to thank everybody for following along this winter. If you haven't done it, when you get to the Kurt Quinnell YouTube channel, click subscribe. Every time I get a new video, you'll be notified. And that way you'll see it right away. I plan on fishing hard through next Wednesday anyway, so I'll be out here three or four more times if I can find bait. <laughs> but uh, this has been glorious. Thursday I was out here and I fished for an hour and a half and kept two. Yesterday I fished for three and a half hours and didn't keep anything. And today has been right what kept me out in this spot. Like I said, within, uh, within 20 yards of where I am right now is where I've been fishing for almost three weeks. Yesterday and the day before were a little bit slower, but we had that weather come through that that could have messed things up So I'm not going to leave this spot Until we're done now. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't leave this to go try to find a bigger spot These fish I've got in the bucket today are uh, what you're gonna get I guess I'm ready for a 20 inch or again or a 23 inch would be a lot of fun But every fish you see coming in the depth finder every single one of them could be a monster but the things today of interest that we looked at, first of all, the, the uh, water isn't uh, clear like it was. Now, I don't know why, but it's, a, it's quite murky. But that hasn't damaged the bite at all. All right, it's uh, just fine. I think that the further we get away from, from snow squalls and, and low clouds and wind, the better off fishing is going to be. Uh, the fish are the same size, 14-inch saugers to keep. Walleye is 15 and better. Uh, if you stick to those, get most of what you want in the course of the day. If you want 13 inch saugers, well, heck, you can be done, still done, in a couple of hours. Uh, it isn't that fast that way like it was, but it's uh, still good. From uh, Lake of the Woods, I'm Kurt Quinnell. Remember to keep it clean, and we'll see you out here somewhere soon. Well, hopefully, on the ice.